right. Three, two, one. Nice good job, gang. Glorben Hoffen. Clap number 159, I believe. We've only been doing it for three years. Yee! I wonder if we've surpassed the amount of Misfits podcasts that have been. Dude, shut up. Why don't you just shut up and stop? You know All right, right dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was really hard. Right. Editor, leave that in. <laughs> leave that in. Show them that we all have beef together and all hate each other. No, don't so leave that in because everyone's going to be like, dude. The goons are falling apart. <laughs> yeah, we are, buddy. People we're said that like part four years ago. We're still... We're, 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 part of we're, being, we're being held together with the love by of mustard. mustard and that's yeah. mustard. <laughs> we're being held together by a spit and the love of mustard. That's our glue. Do that, for the do love that what of you mustard. will. I ain't got no will. So are we going right now? Will's yeah, this podcast. is the podcast. This I, like, is I like this new uh, intro style we're doing. It's better than the... It's better than just jumping right into the song. Yeah, it's Ooh, a better fluid, fluid of natural. Uh, there you go, audience. It's more of a natural intro, you know. Wait, if you do oh my God, a dubstep like thing, it does. It looks, FPS. It looks really <laughs> cool to <laughs> dance like yeah, this. Yeah, let them let them go. How you do everything for a bit? Because doesn't it look bar anyway? Tell me, it doesn't look like a fucking iPod commercial back in the day. Where they were like, <laughs> yeah, I remember those. Yeah, yeah. Where it was just like a silhouette. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a GIF I would have found in like 1993 on on Microsoft Edge. <laughs> Yep. The fucking All hamster, those check out. hamster song playing over it. <laughs> yeah. Famous 1993 browser, Microsoft <laughs> Edge. All right, I'm sorry. It was Explorer. Explorer. You know, Windows. What the fuck are you talking Windows about? Windows was around the 90s, too. Yeah. Facts and knowledge, 90, liberal. 95, I think it was. Um, computer. Um, How do computers work, McNasty? What makes a computer run? Where's the uh, The hamster on the wheel on the inside of your GPU. <laughs> you gotta read them little pieces of cheese. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, thanks for watching. Download on Spotify. <laughs> use Gold Goons. Isn't there a sale right now? Oh, right, oh, right. Yeah. There is. A, if, you use, if you use our code, we'll get out. your head blown off. Yeah. When, right. <laughs> when this comes out, there's a sale, right? Everybody gets a free donkey. Like a big one. Are you know, like 20% off or something crazy? 22%. 22, Is it 22% off? That's Dude, you can get 22% off Smitty's oh. good flavor. No pun intended. Yeah. Yeah. Buy, buy Smitty's flavor, but use code Goons. That's it tastes the like, ideal viewer. Correct. It tastes like uh, a slushy. It's really good. It yeah, I got it. It reminds here, me of when I, I was uh, young and innocent. Let me, oh. a, let me grab a couple out of here. I, Box number one. Of it reminds me of uh, holy shit. Damn, damn. Son. Hold, on, let me, uh, hold on, let me get the other box. You should dry scoop every single one of those and see what happens. No, just in case that one wasn't enough, there's another box right here. Jesus, yeah, no. same box. That's and you know what's crazy? Box. I got a fucking editor. If my address is on these, please don't post them. But yeah, there they are, both boxes. Good you Lord. know what's crazy? I got another sticker on my door today. For the exact same invoice price as I had to pay for those on import duties. So I'm pretty sure a third box has hit my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blarg, a third box has hit. Box you should tell us. So, so Gamersup sent you how many? Like 72 cans uh, or tubs yeah, or whatever? Yeah, a lot, a lot of them. You know what's crazy too? I specifically said, hey, I don't drink caffeine. That's this. Look at that. GG Energy. <laughs> Smitty, Smitty definitely did that to you on purpose. He no, dude, I called him right when I picked him up, and I was like, dude, why the fuck did you do that? He's like, what do you mean? I was like, why did you send three fucking boxes of your flavor? He's like, no, nah, that wasn't me. I, dude, I asked Eric when I saw him. He was oh, I know CEO it wasn't Smitty. I, I just like to uh, <laughs> shit talk him on this podcast because he can't defend I, himself. I, <laughs> he can't defend I, himself. I, yeah. I asked he Eric about on. it. And told Eric that I had like six hundred dollars in duties, and you know what Eric did? He laughed. He didn't say a single word. He just uh, laughed. He just laughed and moved on. I was on. like, bro, what? <laughs> you had to pay six hundred dollars for those? <laughs> yes. Oh my in import god. Duties. Well, I mean, each one of these is what thirty bucks, forty bucks. Probably, what do they cost you? Yeah. Like I, I I've never actually had bucks. to buy G subs. So like that times. A, a, a fuck ton is how much it costs. So every time uh, you know you have to pay taxes on whatever the price of the imagine the going is, so. in debt to Canada because you have because <laughs> they won't stop sending you. Free well, my my plan right drinks. now, I'm gonna make up the money back. My plan right now, I'm gonna wait for the flavor to sell out and then I'm gonna start oh. drip feeding them onto oh, the market yeah, on like a hundred hundred dollars a pop. Dude, that's like I got twenty grand. Yeah, I got twenty grand worth of product right here. True, I can sell. you got you got like a. Uh, 
something. What, what's it called? What do they call oil? They call it like liquid gold. You yeah. got like mm-hmm. powder, powder gold. gold. That's powder a powder gold. gold. gas investment you've got there. <laughs> Hold yep. on to that you know for what? a little while. Maybe I'm going to I'm gonna forge Smitty's signature on all of them too. <laughs> Double up my profits. Easy. Smart. I know what his Smart. signature looks like. I've you seen it. You could just, have, you could just grab a signature from somewhere and then make a stamp out of a signature and just boom, boom, stamp each one. I could probably do that. I, I I know where he lives. I could go. I could grab his file cabinet. There's a <laughs> lot of stuff in there. Yep. <laughs> Should break I into his steal, house. I could steal signatures. Yeah. Break into his house and steal a couple, a couple like kitchen knives. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. Maybe not. I don't know if I'll need those. Mostly the signature. <laughs> if he yeah, I'll grab a couple of nice firearms. Do some. He does have those. a dog. He does Kill have it. a dog. I call her. I call her yogurt. Her name's uh, Octavia, but I, I call her Kill it. yogurt because it, it reminds me of uh, Activia the yogurt. Kill it. It's a nice Fair dog. Enough. I don't really want to kill her. She's very sweet. I see Still. her frolicking around the yard. Would be funny for the, the bit. Yard. I almost hit her with a basketball. Wasn't nice, but happens. Yeah, Texas well, was anyway. fun. Yeah, anyway, you want to talk about Texas? What happened? Where do we start? Uh, that That's kind of what I was thinking. Where do the we start? The issue is we were drunk for so much of it. I don't know if I'm going to remember to bring up half the things that, like, we we did. This is how every one of these stories starts. I know. Well, I, it's <laughs> all a blur. In my head, it's just a blur. Jordan Belford, and then more of a blur. I want to. Mm. I want to understand the Wolf of Wall Street shit. Yeah. I, okay. We got to. We got to. We got to. We got to. We, we got to save that. that. That's Build the climax. That? That's okay. the. That's the all peak right. of the roller coaster, and then we come down after. Yeah. Um, all right. <clears throat> all right. Well, what did we do the first night? We went out for Eric picked us up in a minivan. Yes. Which was uh, we which got, was fire. We all sat we in the van like a bunch in a, of in a, in a minivan. He said yeah, we had a special guest coming to dinner. He did. We had, we tried to pry out who the guest was. He said Joe Rogan initially, and Smitty was like, "I don't want Joe Retard Rogan promoting my flavor." <laughs> so, and I said, right. "I hope." I said, "I hope that it's Joe Rogan. That would be cool." <laughs> I sat in the back and ate a protein snack. Eric got for me, um, but uh, yeah, we felt like a bunch of little kids on the way to soccer. Uh, he dropped us off at the hotel, and then, uh, and then after that, I'm gonna be honest, it was kind of a blur. I'm kind of, I was kind of drunk from that point on. Uh, what did we do? We went out for dinner that night with with G subs, right? Uh, I'm trying <laughs> to remember. I'm trying to remember. God damn, you guys need to control yourselves when you go out. Jesus. Dude, well, I got in the car, and then it was just black. I, that's all I'm trying to remember. I just don't remember the whole rest of the day. You got drugged, brother. <laughs> I remember <laughs> up to 2 p.m. every day, and then past 2 p.m. every oh, day. Oh yeah, no, was no, just we went, we went blur. to the hotel. We got no dropped way. off. We changed. Yep. We yeah, changed. Yeah, we did do that. We, okay, we I did walked. change my clothes. It's like we the walked. Most important walked. part of the conversation. Well, I'm, try, I'm trying to like. You have to put I'm all try, the pieces yeah, I'm trying together. To put, yeah, like, you have to start with number one to get You're to like, number seven. Exactly. You know, it's yeah. like you yeah. can't ju- you oh, can't okay. just do a cool picture in the middle of the puzzle. You have to do the fucking boring edges. You know, we're yeah, doing true. the boring edges. We walk down the street. street. We walk down the street to uh-huh. the restaurant that we were eating dinner at with gamer subs. We walked. We we. I'm Burr. pretty sure we walked. We walked because we we met up with fucking yummy, yeah, yummy and Nick and Larry. Yeah, okay, right? yeah, we, we did met, that. We saw them on the street, yeah, and I yelled at them. I yelled mm-hmm. at them not to cross You're right. over to you the did, side. You did scream at them, or and I, I, I thought they were strangers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I yelled if they mm-hmm. walked over to this side of the street, I would kill them. This is our territory or Dude, something like that. Dude, I do remember that. You and <laughs> Yummy, they there was there was a tension you could cut with a knife between Soup and Yummy. <laughs> I, I have a video, I don't know. <laughs> They were very angry at each other. Everyone else was like, oh, it's so good to see you giving each other hugs and shit. I have a video of Yummy. He's like, I'm going to steal a car. I'm going to fucking run you over and kill you, Soup. That's what I'm going to fucking do tonight. I'm going to buy a car. I'm going to drive over you and fucking kill you. For no reason. That was that was what started it. It's this nothing like, but love, baby. This Me was right yummy, after dinner. And dinner was probably, I think dinner was 8 p.m. that night. And we were out till like 3. So from 8 p.m. onwards till 3 a.m., they literally were just threatening each other the entire <laughs> fucking night to kill each other. There was no there was no other words shared between them. They just look at each other for no reason and be like, I'm gonna fucking stab you. Stop fucking looking at me. And they're like, well, I'm gonna punch you in your stupid face. And he's just like, dude, no reason. I don't even I don't know what spawned it. You guys were so mad at each other the whole night. Hey, would you get like a bad GTRP session recently or something? <laughs> no, no, we, it's we're just doing it as a joke. Uh, let let it show no, that it's all a, it's all a no, joke. No, you guys have beef. Yeah. No, I because saw. the fucking idiots listening are gonna be like, dude. Yeah, it's gonna be yummy, team yummy dude. now. 
Team yeah, they're gonna, be, they're gonna be hating on shit. And notice no there's a common reason. theme with, with soup is always involved in the, the turmoils we have. <laughs> yeah. It's always team soup versus team someone else. I think there's a common theme there. You're the problem, Dude, buddy. I just I like shit talk. You, it's yeah, all you, in good fun. We're just the, we're being boys. That's how yeah, you're that's like Smitty, you know but you follow through with it. That's how you know guys like, are in a good friendship is Constant when they shit threaten talking. to run each other over with yeah. cars. Yeah, if you're not yeah. threatening to kill your friends, you don't have good friends. I've threatened to yeah. kill everyone on this call at least oh, once. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You did threaten me a couple times that night. I told you to stop being mean to Yummy, and you threatened to kill me. Instead. I'll kill you too. Right, you stay out of this. <laughs> you stay out of this blog. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> but uh, was that the night we ended up at the? Uh, were we on Rainy that night? Uh, so. <laughs> that is what something happened? this time. <laughs> I feel like we were on rainy that night, right? I don't because that was the night we got like snacks at the like puffer Did got you guys tacos in. Was that the no, same night, dude? That was that night. Okay, bro. We have the oh worst my news God. that anybody's. Ever. This need... this almost ruined my trip, bro. Uh oh. Yeah, pour one out for the homies. The placeholder Somebody on died? rainy is gone. Yes, a, yeah. a person uh -oh. might as well have. We walked by it and. It's, it looked a little barren from the back, and I was like, that's a little weird. Usually they had lights and music that's and stuff going place? on in the back. Yeah. Yes, uh, dude. That's the place where we get the iconic just learned, funny I just I learned the name, though, in my life. Damn. to be fair. I just, learned, I just called it Tiki Bar for the longest fucking time. I didn't know what it was. But we walked by, and it was dead in there. And then we are like, we were fucking we sat in front of it, did a little salute, gave it a little goodbye. It and honestly, then, uh, it, that... Like borderline ruined my night, dude. Yeah, that, that was, was bad. I was yes. upset. We were all very upset. Cause that is like when I go to Texas, placeholder on rainy is my fucking yeah, favorite place. Yeah, where you place. go. It's where <laughs> yeah. we went and got absolutely sloshed. Yeah, it's my favorite place to go. I mean, even the times that I've been there without you guys, I'm like, <clears throat> I fucking love this yeah. bar. It's just a yeah. cool place. It is. It was a great bar. And, like, all the drinks... The zombie was fucking garbage. <laughs> Every drink besides a zombie was incredible. The people like, were Like, they were cool. actually genuinely I mean, good drinks. Yeah, everybody working there was awesome. The crowd that yeah. went in was good. Nobody was, like... There wasn't bros trying to punch everyone in the face there. Like, it wasn't yeah, like a club. I, I talked to so many random people there that were always yeah. super kind. They get, like, mm -hmm. one of my first times in Texas, I talked to this dude, and he, like, gave me all these recommendations of, like, places to go. But the vibes yeah. were always super cool in there. It was always... The vibes were great. Yeah, it's I always a great bar like that. Yeah, placeholder on Rainy was fire. And then we uh, we walked by it, though, after realizing it was uh, closed down. And, like, two seconds later, two police officers run out of their car, weapons drawn, No, that was the... That, was so that you're, a, jump, you're that jumping a ahead. You're is that a whole ahead. other night? Yeah, so... We were on <laughs> Rainy more than once? I think so. Didn't we go... We went back, didn't we? We <laughs> did go back on Sunday. You're right. That's no. That, yeah. Sunday was is that when the, the Did we have balloons that up. night? I don't know. <laughs> I think what Sunday is happening in this story? <laughs> Sunday, is when, Sunday is when I'm we so saw confused. the cops. I'm pretty sure. Because <laughs> no, there's cops like, and there's was, balloons walking, and the bar's gone. <laughs> Wasn't I walking around with my balloon on Sunday night? No, that was Saturday. Okay. Yeah, Saturday's when we went out on our own. Okay. Was, All right. Sorry, carry on. What happened? What else happened? Actually, no. Friday? Saturday is when we dude, literally I, went to dinner and went to bed. We did nothing. Did you guys like boof all your alcohol Saturday? this time? Like, what dude, oh yeah, we had dinner at like 10 p.m. and we were there till 1:30 and then sat in the hotel lobby huffing helium at 10. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. No, Saturday yeah. was oh, yeah. an early night. Oh yeah, I forgot night. about that. I Saturday forgot about the We were in bed by 2:30. But uh, <laughs> okay, what else happened? For I feel like I'm I'm being investigated for murder and I have to like backtrack my night to the police. Honestly, dude, if I was being investigated right by cops for this I, for the, that weekend, I'd be like, take me to jail, dude. I don't really remember. It. Like everything's <laughs> I may out have of killed order. Somebody, I have <laughs> yeah. no idea. I might, be, I might have did it. But uh, I, okay, I'm pretty sure that was the food night though, because I remember we had an earlier dinner. With uh, with G subs. Food night on, on food yeah night. food so food night so we like on Rainy Street which by the way Rainy what the fuck happened in that street but uh we uh we there's like this this area that's just like food trucks and shit oh, and Puffer okay. got tacos and I walked back with somebody to go get pizza and the vibes around the pizza thing were wild they were just insane I don't know if Soup was there for this and the guy working I don't know how long he's worked there to train. To understand this man as well as he did but some guy stumbled over could barely his eyes were like 90 percent closed i don't even think he knew what state he was in he walked up to the pizza window went I, 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 yeah and he did that 
The guy just handed him two slices of pizza, and the guy walked away. There was no cash transit. <laughs> he uh, just gone. Gotcha, <laughs> he buddy. just walked up, moaned at the pizza guy, got two slices of pizza, and turned around. And I, I, I was just, I was he, bewildered. He speaks homeless, bro. The He's most NPC or something. It was the most NPC interaction I've ever fucking seen in my life. Like, two Sims talking to each other. Except he got free pizza out of the deal. And he wasn't just giving out free pizza. Everyone else was paying for it. That guy just walked up, moaned at him in a drunken state and got two phrase. slices. Yeah, I got tacos. I got tacos with Ethan and Smitty when y'all got pizza. Did, did, uh, did Smitty knock the tacos out of your hand this time, buddy? He, what did he do this time? He fucking, I, I was really drunk. <laughs> but I know he, like, knocked some, uh, like, a plate of food on my shirt or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what not dude? surprising. Why is, why is Smitty so like prone to smacking food out of people's hands? <laughs> Smitty, Smitty is like a little gremlin. He comes in, he stirs <laughs> the fucking pot. Once everyone's all riled up, he he beelines. He's out to of it. To be fair, and everyone my is food fighting. was already my, all the food. I'm pretty sure was pretty much gone. It was just the uh, oh, you did have your the, empty the taco drippings? plate. I do remember yeah, that. It was the yeah, drippings I do remember. and the, like, <laughs> the fucking yeah. shit that fell off the taco. And he just yeah, goes. he did give you a slap, but yeah, I do remember that. Because I remember walking, I remember getting my food and I was like, why is there like danger in my brain while I'm getting food right now? Oh, because Smitty's here. I need to fucking <laughs> run away with my food. <laughs> <laughs> like, like caveman primal instincts were kicking in that you need uh, to like. Yeah, I need to hide. Danger. <laughs> something about being drunk in Austin, Texas, does just make me want to slap food out of people's hands. I don't know why. I slapped the fuck out of Ethan's pizza. Really? Oh yeah, Dude, when it hit the fucking remember. roof. <laughs> it yeah. Almost, it no, almost, it almost hit me in the head. head. Yeah, Dude, he I almost was, had he was fucking it. pizza land on my head. He was holding a full slice, and I was like, I, I was drunk, so you're not really thinking of like what else could we do with this slice. I was just like, are you going to eat that? He's like, I don't think so. So I literally just, as hard as I could, smacked the bottom of his plate while he was holding it with one hand. It flew like 30 feet in the air. Soup had oh no God. idea. Holy he was shit. just walking and it missed him by like uh, maybe two inches. And he got a little bit of splash zone on his head. He got a little bit of sauce on him. But the pizza hitting the ground was just the saddest sound I've ever heard. It was just like, it, dude, it sounded like somebody just threw like, Wet meat at the floor. It yeah, was just every like time I go to Texas, fucking squish. people are throwing food at me, <laughs> knocking shit off my plate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can't yeah, enjoy a fucking uh, late night drunk meal without food what getting it is. thrown around. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It just makes everyone want to throw food real hard in Texas. Alcohol. Uh, alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. I guess yeah, there is a direct more. correlation. Because I mean, Retail normally personalities I, and alcohol. That's yeah. it. Yeah, YouTubers. <laughs> normally, and I would never slap a full piece of pizza out of somebody's hand, especially when they're just chilling. He's just looking around, walking down the street at like 3 a.m. And I, I just, I couldn't have that happening next to me. I had to get rid of the pizza somehow. Understandable. Understandable. Yeah. You know what I can't wait for is is when we all finally meet up and we get do fucking plastered, mm. and we oh, smack like the protein bar out of hand. We take a shot. <laughs> Smack the peanut butter plate out of his hand. <laughs> We're gonna th throw the powdered peanut butter yeah. down a gutter. No! Yeah, mix it with water first and then just trip it down the gutter. Uh, I don't think I don't think much happened the first night. I think we kind of just got drunk and caught up with each other. I don't think there was a ton on Friday. Uh -huh. and then uh, Saturday, we all crawled out of the gutters at, at like 1 p.m. and met up in the lobby, hung out for a bit. And then uh, Eric booked Top Golf for 3 p.m. So we went to Top Golf. Uh, only like half the people made it because everyone was everyone was hung over. So that was fun as fuck, as always. Angry Birds Top Golf on top. I, time. Hate, I hate that shit. That makes no sense at <laughs> all. Super Angry golf. Birds. <laughs> you just what? get to play as like a, a terrorist, You're just blowing up towers, bro. But it makes no you sense. You would think you would love that game. Yeah. What do you mean? It don't make it sense. Just, it just doesn't make sense. You hit a perfect golf shot and then nothing happens. Some little fucking. Doorknob hits a flubby muffin 20 yards and it knocks over the whole tower. I just don't understand how the game works. Was a, I don't know if that was a real sentence. It was just like, I just Ooh. don't get the premise of the Angry Birds golf game on top that, golf. That's the fun part. It's, it's, it's aiming every, your shot. Every other thing. golf game is like, you got to be the dirtiest, the nastiest. Angry Birds levels the playing field between yeah. people like me and people like Blarg. <laughs> Blarg can <laughs> smack a golf ball to the moon and back. <laughs> And fucking like Avatar air bend the golf ball while he hits it. I'm over there with a fucking pitching wedge missing every fucking swing, yep. and I still can beat him in Angry Birds, yeah, which is I, what's I, fun about it. I hate Equalizer. Angry Birds. <laughs> the the most balanced game. It's like having bumpers uh, in, in your bowling alley. Yeah, the bowling alley. Yeah, except I threw a foam ball and that guy got like a three times wide 
bowling ball with bumpers on it. Stupid ass game. Anyway, um, <laughs> after that we had nothing with G subs. I think he wanted us to just go and you know enjoy the city and be a bunch of hooligans. So we booked last minute, uh, booked a dinner at this uh, restaurant called J Prime. Super nice, like steakhouse, and uh, we went in there, a bunch of goobers, uh, acting like goobers as we do. Uh, fucking ordered like a million things, and then at the end. We saw that they had these cool balloons at, like, every table. The string was light up, and then the balloon was, like, light up. We're like, that's kind of sick. So I I asked the lady how we get a balloon, and she's like, oh, it's your birthday, right? It's like, yeah, it's definitely my birthday. So uh, so she brought me the big ha- this big happy birthday cake, and everyone sang happy birthday to me, and it wasn't Aww. my birthday at all. <laughs> it's so wholesome. The cake was fucking banging, but mainly we got the balloon. And I don't know what I, I don't know what They gave my my balloon like a shot of trend before or something because it was like bigger and way fucking like the string for all the other balloons i don't know it's five feet mine was like 10 feet the string was long as fuck it was just, just like a really giant line of yeah just a giant line of leds so we were just walking down the street with my balloon i don't know by this one it was probably like 130 ish maybe a little I earlier i don't think than that. so dude i i'm very hold on i have because i've been have... looking at my camera roll Hold on, let me see. see the photos. Because that, that was late. Taken. We went to dinner at like ten. At, but what? Are, that was Saturday, right? Wasn't that Saturday? Pizza dick off me. I think that was Saturday. I have yeah, because I have you on on Sunday. I have no, that's Sunday. I have you guys throwing the <laughs> the the bean bag at Saturday our, at one a.m. Me and you took a photo of us laughing at a, a magnet board that said Bush did nine eleven. <laughs> that's, that saturday at, that's saturday oh, at 1 a.m yeah. okay i do have that as well then did we go to rainy on saturday yeah so what the fuck did we do friday F- friday we uh we also were on rainy because that's when i have the homeless guy dancing the dancing on the on the stairs on rainy no way we went to rainy three nights in a row right i don't even remember that uh no i think sunday night we went to uh we went oh, to sun Street. was Sunday. Sunday was Jay Prime then, because I have Droid in the lobby talking squeaky voice. <laughs> no, S- Sunday was when we had dinner with the Wolf of Wall Street. Sunday was Wolf of Wall Street night. You're right. That, dude, I'm so confused. Everything's a fucking line. blur, honestly. Ever like so I remember by- everything oh! that happened, but it's all I don't know what. Okay, yeah, no, no. J Prime was Saturday. J Prime was definitely Saturday. Because well, I, I think, feel like we stayed, we didn't buddy, stay I think late, your pro- right? I think your problem is that you're looking at the date and not the time. If it's two a.m. on Saturday, that means it's Friday night. True, you're right. Yeah, so I That's have because right. I, I have Sunday at one thirty in the morning of us huffing helium in the hotel <laughs> lobby of the Four Seasons. <laughs> I, I ate a snail for the first time at J. Did eat a snail? Yeah, you like I it? Had, it tasted like burnt cheese. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, baby. with that being said, wasn't that bad? Yeah, burnt cheese isn't that bad, you know. It's a little, it's all right. Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you eat, like pizza crust, sometimes there's burnt cheese on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah a little I bit. I mean, it was a, uh, it was a snail. I ate it. The cheese. Would you I'm do it again? I'm piecing back together my camera roll. Would I do it again? I I, I would try another one because Smitty told me that that was like a beginner snail that I had, oh, which I still don't really understand what, what that means. What does that mean? But I think he was referring to the amount of cheese that was on it, uh, uh, if I had to guess. And so I had a beginner snail cheese So is bite. advanced snail eating just picking it up off the concrete and eating it? I think yeah, so, just, just like <laughs> foraging a, a snail, yeah, <laughs> sucking it out of a fucking tree or something. Maybe that's, that's the final <laughs> boss of snail eating, I guess. That's always always feel like when it comes to food where it's like it's like oh yeah you say the beginner version beginner version is usually the more delicious version. That's not necessarily uh, I true because I feel like that. beginner steak is like well yeah, done yeah. steak. Steak, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, when you when you get into the good shit, oh my god, I I ate so much steak. But uh, I that Saturday night after Day Prime was the when we met Mister uh, RF Seasons. Oh yeah, the raccoon, <laughs> dude. dude. That. <laughs> Holy I, shit, I forgot so, all about that. I'm going to be honest. So the raccoon? guy st- Okay, so... I, Dude, I, he's not just any raccoon, all right? So Mr. R. We were, seasons. Everyone, everyone uh, left at, like... Like, all the other Austin guys left, like, Puffer, Tezzy, Droid, uh, Yummy. They all left at, like... Well, 1.30, we were huffing helium out of balloons still. So, sometime after 
And then, uh, I don't know, I- When they left, Smitty- I think Smitty that said we should go to bed. And then I said, no, I think we should go play, be play beanbag toss outside. Cornhole. So we went- Cornhole, thank you, oh, sorry. Like cornhole. Beanbag toss. Mm -hmm. So we went outside at like, 2 a.m. and played- Played cornhole for a little bit. Which wasn't actually cornhole. We were literally just fucking wailing shit as far as we could. Like, I kept throwing the beanbag up in the fucking tree. Uh, all, all sorts of hoopla. We were not- we were not playing cornhole properly. Um, but then, uh, we were sitting there and this little raccoon walked out of the- walked out of the corner. And I, I can't remember <laughs> if it was Super Ethan that was like, Is that Mr. Four Seasons? And when you're drunk, everything's just fucking funnier. Yeah. Um, somebody- somebody lobbed a beanbag at it. I don't know who that was. Well, like, I, I think me and Ethan started- see, like, we, Me and Ethan, like, well, immediately started well, running you were, at it. I have- you were running at it. I could- I, I can tell our- the editor <laughs> post this clip, but you were running at it with a drink in your hand. And then on the corner of the video, I just see a beanbag go fucking flying towards the raccoon. So I think that was probably Ethan. But then, after that, all we were talking about for the next, like, 35 minutes was was the fucking raccoon and how he's the <laughs> and, owner and, of the four and, seasons he is and, mr seasons it then somehow it devolved from he's the owner he's the bodyguard he's mr seasons himself <laughs> and then like, it somehow ended up on rf seasons i, I don't know RF, RF, rf seasons, seasons. and then you guys are like no I mean, rf seasons the fun fact raccoons have 12 credit cards <laughs> that was started, ethan that said that just started doing shit like that like you know those like fun facts most sharks don't attend church quick animal we were, facts. Uh, yeah, yeah quick yeah. animal facts at, at yeah. 3 a.m when you're hammered in the courtyard of the four seasons time. just just gets belligerent and you guys were laughing at the fucking raccoon credit card line for like <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude i don't even hilarious. know and then you <laughs> you were like what should we should go to vegas we'll be back tomorrow before <laughs> dinner <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're like I'm down for a good time, bro. Yeah, know. you're like, let's go to Vegas. It's not that far, whatever. <laughs> like, you know, was like, dude, are we far. supposed to take a fucking like bird scooter there right now? Like, we can't drive. <laughs> and Ethan's like, like, imagine going down the fucking, imagine going down the highway towards Las Vegas. You're not even out of Austin yet, and a cop pulls you over. He's like, what are you doing right now? 4 a.m. on the bird scooter. It's like I'm going to fucking Bellagio, obviously, you <laughs> idiot. Just not even out of Austin yet on your bird scooter we're almost uh, there why you pull me over <laughs> that shit i was laughing at fucking everything yeah, this is one fun. of those nights where you just got that giggle set yeah. and absolutely every line that comes out you could have told me the least funny joke of all time and i probably would have had a little bit of pee dribble out of my dick yeah right. ethan stole yeah. uh droids cell phone for like an hour or something that was me dinner. i always do that to droid oh, there's it? lore oh. there's lore behind that so Every time, whether it's Boston, Texas, uh, Toronto, wherever, wherever I hang out with Droid, it, he sits next to me at dinner. It just ends up that way a lot of the time. I take his phone in the first five minutes because it's just so fucking easy with that guy. He puts his phone on the table or, like, leaves it halfway out of his pocket, and I just grab it. I'll go on it. I, like, I take pictures of him with it sometimes, and he doesn't notice them until, like, a few days later. Like, <laughs> I'll, well, I don't know. I'll just keep taking it. It's just, it's just too easy and too funny to watch his reaction. But, uh... I took it and I literally grabbed it while he was looking at me. I like it was so obvious. I was like, "Droid, are you like, you know, what do you what do you think you're getting from the restaurant?" And I grabbed it, and he just kept talking to me. He didn't even th he didn't even like pay attention to what I was doing. So I gave it to uh, I think I gave it to Grizzy, and then or was it? I think I gave it to Cryos actually because Cryos was sitting in front of me. I gave it to him under the table, and then he gave it to Ethan. And yeah, Ethan held on to Droid's phone for at, at least an hour. A lot of he, while, just had, yeah. he just had he just had that shit. Droid never fucking notices, but that yeah, that's that's lore. I do that to Droid every time we eat dinner, like every single time. But uh, yeah, he never fucking notices that. He hasn't learned his lesson. It was I was like the game next of to Clue because I took yeah. a photo of myself. I took like the worst selfie you could imagine. I just looked was... drunk and stupid. Just looked right at the phone. <laughs> My eyes were like half like closed. Like that's how he looked the entire trip. And he just he whenever he finally got his phone back, he just walked over to me and was like. What is this? <laughs> I was like, dude, <laughs> I did not steal your phone, bro. <laughs> I know that's very incriminating evidence, but it's I did not damning, steal bro. your phone. <laughs> yeah, and then I took a picture of court of I took a picture of Ethan sitting at the table. I was like, dude, I can imagine you just trying to piece together the two photos, the just what me, happened, and then a picture of Ethan at the table. <laughs> I just have no idea. <laughs> 
Oh, fuck yeah. No, I don't know. I always, I love doing that to that guy. He's, his reactions are so fucking funny, but, uh, was there anything else Saturday? I think that was it. I think we went to bed after Mr. R RF Seasons. No, we, uh, didn't we go There's out? no way we didn't. No, we didn't. Dude, do, I don't dude know. that was like 3 a.m. We did not go around. back out. Everything was closed on Rainy and 6th Street. I don't, but, uh, I don't fucking yeah, the next day, <clears throat> we, uh, we just hung out. We got, uh, that was a barbecue day, actually. We got, uh, Terry, Terry Blacks. Blacks. I'm wearing the hat. If you can yeah. <clears throat> tell. Barely tell. <laughs> pretty, you got yeah, some pretty fucking read. brisket, which is the main reason I wanted to go to Texas. I didn't care about anything else. I don't care about, you know, Smitty. That guy's a dork. Who the fuck cares about that guy? So I just wanted I to go there for brisket. I can buy it. Uh, yeah, so I just I got my brisket. I got I got 0.75 pounds of brisket and a piece of cornbread. And that was it. Mm, I Yummy. had cream corn. Oh, dude, that cream You had corn. a lot. I was oh. jealous of that. I had so much fucking food. I got brisket. I got lean green beans, tomato, <laughs> chicken. No, I, dude, I got brisket and fucking sausage and uh, what else? Oh. The rib. I always have to get sausage when I go to a barbecue. What the oh, fuck? Oh, <laughs> there's the chorus. Oh, is it doing it again? Yep. Just turned a phaser on. Oh, my God. <laughs> I came out of nowhere. Why did that happen all of a sudden? I don't <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fucking Van Halen and his talkback mic in the recording room. <laughs> You good, buddy? Like he's still Hold on, his guitar is still doing his ass. it. I don't hear it on my it's, end. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's doing it. You're kind of like panning from ear to ear too. Uh, Throw some nasties. Uh, no, never mind. Now you're not. Okay, now you're lying. It yeah. went away. No, nope. Virginia, uh, Virginia. It's, it's still, still like happening. Shit, dude. I Random hope it's waiver. not happening on your end, and this podcast is just really. It uh, probably is. I feel like your viewers are gonna. Totally normal. It sounds kind of cool. I feel like you should just roll with it. It's kind yeah. of a vibe. Yeah, fuck it. I'm good. Yeah, what were you yapping about before that? What was your big Me? bowl of yapple pie? Oh, yeah. I don't fucking remember. Some about briskets. Oh, I was saying that I had... What the fuck? What is happening? <laughs> Everyone's chorus. Oh, I was <laughs> saying that? that I had brisket. And Am I I had Are you doing that per on purpose? And I had... Am I doing what on purpose? <laughs> you're, you're chorusy now. What? He knows. Yeah. What are you talking about, bro? Your course, you bro. Knows. I don't know what you're talking about. This is so obvious that What's he knows. What's happening, dude? No, I had brisket. Anyway, I had brisket. By the way, I had some brisket, and I had a sausage, and I had some motherfucking ribs, and I <laughs> peach cobbler, and I had cream corn, and then I had more brisket. And then, yeah, 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 yeah,
I was like, what? He's like, you know, Jordan Belford. I was like, bro, what? No fucking way. That's who the special guest is. I thought he was trolling. I thought he was just doing a funny little bit. And then I uh, I looked at his face again and I was like, holy fuck, that is actually that him. Is, that is Mr. JB himself. Yeah, that is that is Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> the old man Where with are no they money. now? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was just with sitting me and Blarg. there. He just, he just, he just had, his, uh, had his wife, and he just started walking around in there, and like, yeah, just mingling. I was like, "Is why the fuck is he in here?" Like, it, I, yeah, it so felt like yeah. he like loaded into the wrong server. It's like, yeah, this <laughs> like <laughs> someone just using I mean, his skin. Yeah, it's, it's like, like somebody in the group chat boys and fucking Grizzy and. And, and then it's just Jordan Wall Belfort. <laughs> yeah, the Wolf yeah, of Wall Street. Yeah, Blark's in a picture just... of, like, Russian Badger Smitty and the Wolf yeah. of Wall Street. Yeah, yeah. I was like, dude, dude I was what am I looking there. at? <laughs> Smitty was sitting there, he was eating a piece of bread, and I was like, Smitty, you look like a fucking idiot right now. He's like, why? It was like, dude, you're sitting next to the Wolf of Wall Street and Russian Badger, and you're just sitting there looking down at your plate eating a piece of bread. He's like, oh, okay, take a picture. And he just sat there holding a piece of bread in his mouth for, like, 30 <laughs> seconds while I got good photos of it. But I was like, dude, it was so weird. He was talking, he was talking to everybody though he was a nice dude like he was uh going around he introduced himself to like every single person in there uh talked to everybody also that was the first time i got to meet russian badger um Same. so that was cool he's uh he's a nice guy he's funny as fuck but uh got to sit like the way the table setup was was really fucking weird we had like the head of the table which was like wolf of wall street smitty because obviously they're there to celebrate his flavor coming out russian badger uh wolf of wall street's wife i can't remember her name she was very you nice got though, it. and then, and then Eric and and then Eric and our manager Sonia, um, they were at the head, and then there was like two like, it was like the letter H, but the top was lopped off, like, or I guess the lowercase like letter N. Like yeah, a sideways U, chair, N, whatever you want. I don't know. <laughs> sideways. But so there was like two. Was that exactly. There was like yeah. There was like was two, two, two chairs coming. There was like two eight bit. Was coming I this imagine way, yeah. like an eight bit. Eight bit U. Oh, so okay. I was right on the corner of the U. So like. I was I was facing this way and in front of me I think was I think it was you Soup or was it Grizzy? It was uh it was me, Grizzy and Ethan in front of yeah, me. Yeah, I don't know. Regardless, I was facing this way and then to my right was, was like Smitty Badger and then Wolf of Wall Street. So he was like staring at me while eating. So I kept like <laughs> staring swapping at the side over of your head. <laughs> yeah, swapping over talking to them and then swapping back this way and stuff and I was I was asking about his cars and shit like that and he was uh he was asking about our industry because he didn't really understand what the hell was going on. And then he showed us his son's raps, which was cool. His son's a rapper, I guess, which is, you know, that's kind of heat. Um, okay. And he was telling us a little bit of stories about, I don't know if I can even talk about these. I don't know what's going to get us in trouble, what he's allowed to talk about. He's got a lot going on legally. Well, he's never been speaking. in trouble before. What do you mean? But <laughs> he, uh, he told us some wild stories about some shit that did not make it in the movies. Mm. Um. And he did, he did, he did like say quotes from the movies just in conversation though, which was, I was like, he said the fucking he line. Said the thing, we were like, said the th we were talking about cars and he was like asking, you know, what cars I had and whatever. And then I was like, I, uh, I know about some of your cars, but what other cars have you had? And so he's like, oh, my first one was the, the Ferrari, the Testarossa. I wanted it in white because I wanted to be like Don Johnson. I was like, that's your fucking line. It's like, you say that in the movies. <laughs> I was like, that's <laughs> sick. Um, he also had a, uh. He had an Aston Martin. I think it would have been a DBS back in the day. The same one James Bond had, but he had it converted to literally be the James Bond car. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was like fully functional, yeah. like oil slick and smoke coming out of it and all the sorts of crazy shit that he could do in the car. Oh my um, Is that legal? Yeah. You just spit oil? No, no, <laughs> not legal, legal at all. Um, <laughs> they also told us some stories from like his wedding that he, I don't know if we can share them. I don't want to risk I would. A, I would, so the cool news is that somehow I Blarg ended up saying that he's coming on our podcast. So okay, I don't whoa, know whoa, if that's whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was gonna right, ask right. about that. Let's backtrack a little bit. Okay. So right. I was talking to him. We were having a conversation, just him and I. Somebody introduced us. This was like pretty early on. And then I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna circle around and say hi to everybody. I'm gonna come back because I want to talk to you about something later. And he said, Sounds good. Come back, talk whenever you want. I said, okay. So after dinner, and we we're, you know, a little, yeah, I made sure he had a little bit of wine first before I asked. Um, so he was, he was a little, a little tipsy. And then, uh, yeah, and then uh, went over and I was like, just asking him more stories about his past and all, yada, yada. Uh, super interesting guy, obviously. And then I was like, we have a, we have a podcast. If you'd ever like to uh, come on, talk about your life and, you know, your stories and, uh, 
you know, just came, come hang out. We're not super censored or anything like that, so you can pretty much say whatever the hell you want. And he's like, yeah, no, that sounds, uh, that sounds good. You'll just have to get in contact with my people. And I said, great, my manager will be in contact with your people. And I ran over and told Sonya right away. I was like, he told My he manager, said, who's not in the room with me currently, will my, be in contact. Oh, my manager people. that's two feet that way? Yeah, my okay. My manager! <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Sonya! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Place. I literally, <laughs> I literally uh, dude, I, I, as soon as that conversation ended, I literally just waddled around the table as fast as I could to get to the other side of the room, and I was like, all right, Sonny, this is what I got, and I, like, <laughs> told her what he said, and she's like, okay, yeah, we'll definitely reach out to him, whatever, so, Hell potentially, yeah. potentially Wolf of Wall Street, he might have just been being nice, yeah. But he seemed genuinely interested in what he we do. He probably so, all the time. Yeah, but, you know, he doesn't show up to everybody's dinner that asked him to that be there. True, so, yeah. you know, it's a Did little... Did you ever figure out why he was there? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to say, but yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're... <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll find out about... Let's just say we had some quaaludes at uh, dinner. No, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll tell you guys after the podcast. Let's just say uh, there's a really good reason we can't remember what happened in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Smitty's selling a couple powders. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll tell you guys after the podcast. But yeah, let's no, just we, say I, there's I, a I secret ingredient in Smitty's flavor. I don't, I don't think we should say, say exactly why um, on the podcast. But yes, he was there for an reason, and that reason right. is fucking hilarious. And we'll we'll tell you guys after. But it, it, yeah, it's uh, yeah, but yeah, I was well, really uh, the reason he came dinner. is because we were like, listen, we have a powder that can turn your shit green. He was like, I'll be mm -hmm. here for it. He heard. <laughs> I've been he looking heard. for that for he ages. He did actually, the last thing he said before he walked out, he looked at the crowd and he said, use code goons. And he gave a little salute and walked out. He did, he did out. do that. He did, yeah, he did do is that. Is that real he, lore? No, lore. no, he fucking, no, he, he scurried out Dude, of there a mock speed and got in the one, elevator before he came back to the Damn it. I had to meet him in the elevator for a photo. My one conversation I had with him, I'll never forget this, obviously, because I was talking to the fucking Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> But he walks over to me, and I had already met him like a second ago, but there was a lot of people, so I understand. But he yeah. walked over, and he was like, he's like, hey, I'm Jordan. And I was like, hey, I'm, I'm Dallas. We already met. And uh, he was like, well, where are you from, Dallas? And I was like, I'm not from Texas or whatever. I'm, I was like, I'm from South Carolina. He's like, oh, like, you know, said some political thing or whatever. And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no he, it was like it, it was he something said like, about. Oh, you're from the town of this politician, or, or the city of this politician. Yeah, or whatever. he said some random yeah. politician's name. Yeah, he said something about politics, and I was like, yeah, I don't know. I was like, I don't even vote. I was like, in my free time, I like to go fishing. I was like, I don't vote. Hey, uh, man. Just... <laughs> and then, and then oh, like everyone so that was funny. listening just started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't vote. know. I just, I just, I just like fishing. <laughs> And then, he, just, and then he, just whenever the most I, simpleton answer you could have <laughs> gave him. And then whenever I got a photo with him, he called me a caveman. He did do that. That is lore. He, he said, "Yeah, caveman. let me get a photo with the caveman." <laughs> He's pointing over to soup. And I was like, "I'll take that as a compliment, baby. You can, you can be the wolf. I'll be the caveman. Come on." <laughs> He's gonna try to domesticate you, buddy. <laughs> Wait, other way around. <laughs> I mean, domesticate cave, whatever, you get the gist. But, uh, yeah, he was, the, the reason he, he left a little early, and I was like, oh, what do you, what do you got going on tomorrow? And I, I can't share most of it. But he's like, yeah, I gotta go to court in the morning. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Oh. He's like, yeah, I got a jet waiting for me. I gotta go to Los Angeles. I gotta be at court for 9 a.m. And I was like, bro, oh my God. <laughs> this guy's oh. life is fucking wild. But, uh, yeah, no, it was fucking, it was, it was, it was a fucking hilarious as dinner. And Eric is, uh, an absolute legend for setting that all up because it is hilarious and is absolutely something I will remember the rest of my life. Just, oh, a hundred percent turning I around mean, how and many just people seeing can the Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. yeah having dinner with him. It was very, really like, the, interesting. it was really like the meme of, would you rather have like $50,000 or have dinner with Jay-Z? But it was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you rather listen to one hour of Goon's podcast or have Jordan, Jordan Dolver for dinner? <laughs> have him for dinner. That is. <laughs> eat him. his leg. <laughs> have a wolf tonight, baby. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, that was the, uh, this evening. the the special guest of the evening. Fucking. That was. It was just Street. bizarre. That yeah. was not on my uh, life bingo card. You know no. what I mean? Yeah, I never would have square for that one. Wasn't expecting yeah. that. My sister's boyfriend's me uh, and the wolf. <laughs> dinner together. Getting called caveman by <laughs> Jordan yeah. Belfort. He calls Check me caveman. Check that one off. Hell yeah. <laughs> I didn't the expect Wolf of Wall to... Street called me the caveman of South Kakalaki, baby. I'll take it. 
Oh god, I I, I don't want to get in trouble for saying anything. I'm mean, we're I'll t we'll t I'll tell you guys more more after podcast. I'm sorry, podcast viewers. I don't want to. In get case cocked, he wants, podcast in case listeners. he wants to be on, I don't want to I don't want to burn any bridges. He was a very nice man, and I'll let him share any interesting stories. But uh, yeah, no, it was it was a really fucking fun dinner, and you know, G Subs is is go. There's no other fucking company in the world that would just. Have yeah, him come out and hang out with you yeah. for one of those so a beverage. So fucking crazy. And I feel like it's partly because you said that he had his Wolf of Wall Street oh, moment. Oh, dude, yeah, then, that's actually why. So yeah. Eric gave and me And he's like, you know of, what? I'm going to get the fucking actual Wolf of Wall Street Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was a bit of lore. So, like, for people that have been listening to the podcast a while back, we when Goons Flavor came out, I was talking about how Eric had his Wolf of Wall Street moment. Like, he had his, his speech that was just my favorite Gamer speech I've ever, yeah. ever heard, had ever heard anybody give. Um, but he was like, these motherfuckers, they told people that the flavor would kill them. And the sales went off! And he, like, yelled it. And, dude, it was, like, my favorite fucking speech of all time. And when we <laughs> talked about it on the podcast, uh, Eric listens once in a while. And I was like, yeah, that's uh, that was his Wolf of Wall Street moment. But, uh, yeah, no, so that, he, that stuck with him, I guess. <laughs> and that's, uh -huh. that's, he ended up having him out later for it. But, yeah, no, it was such a fun night. And the whole trip was awesome. And, uh, yeah, Smitty's flavor's goaded. So... You know, G Subs G Subs remains the best company of all time. Amen. Look out. Yeah, pretty sweet. <laughs> Sounded so sarcastic. So what did you guys yeah, do for the weekend? <laughs> yeah, how was your weekend? Oh, I don't know. It was, was you two. I played uh, Power World. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the blur, I slept like half the day. I don't know. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to go to Vegas. Uh, no, it's uh, my dad ended up pushing it back. Bro, you could have just yeah, flew out last minute. I know. He's a oh, little bit tired. He can be wishy-washy at times, but... Dude, he, he called Super Caveman. What do you think he would have called you? <laughs> Job of the Hut. Thor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, realistic Thor, too, not Thor from the Marvel movies. How about you strong as shit, though, huh? You nah, ever try to lift heavy well, shit? I got strong legs, but bench? that's just from... Oh, pff, I, don't I want know. to see you bench. You can bench me 100 I got strong 100%. legs from holding myself up. <laughs> <laughs> Probably pretty valid. I mean, even if you just squat with the bar, that's already like a 400 pound squat. That's pretty good. That's an impressive squat. Well, I yeah. mean, that would be 400 pounds on top of what my weight is. So it's not like a, like if if I that's lost sweaty. all my weight and then I was able to like, yeah, because you're, yeah, you're adding weight on top of what. Yeah, you're that's already. what I meant. Yeah, that's yeah. why I said just the bar. Oh, the bar ain't 400 pounds. Oh, insane, just the bar. Bro. Oh, I didn't hear that part. Sorry. Because the bar is 45 pounds. <laughs> I was like. Yeah. I actually haven't I haven't lifted weights like seriously in a long time. I just do I don't know, cardio. So do you still have your cool treadmill? Yeah, it's in the garage. I wanna run on that thing. I'm kinda scared of it though, the way you've described it. It's just have you ever been to a gym? Like it's just like the No gym. No <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've now, I would have never, I would have never thought in a million years that McNasty would ask Do if he's been to a gym. I'm sorry, that is. <laughs> you never been to a gym, buddy. Hey, buddy, you gotta is... lift something up. Yeah. You out of shape, piece of shit. <laughs> well, it's just the fucking <laughs> the timeline is oh, fucked. What is it's happening? Just, <laughs> it's just like the, like the heavy duty like big gym treadmills. Basically yeah, the same okay. thing. Well, the way the the way this dude described it was like, I got a I got a treadmill for elephants, bro. Like you could put an elephant on this bitch. <laughs> it is pretty heavy duty. It's, it's uh, like got tank treads on it. The brand is called Precore. Huh. Have you ever heard of Precore? Like yeah, equipment. No. Yeah, they yeah. have a bunch of shit at my gym. Yeah, it's pretty uh pretty solid. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. What else did we do? What else did we do that night? We sucked we got, on helium in the hotel we got lobby. In the weirdest and then the waiter was like, last car. car. <laughs> weirdest blunt rotation car of all time. A G Sup's employee driving. Badger with shotgun. Me, you, Ethan, Smitty, and Cryos, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Just a bizarre a, blunt rotation. That was a fun that Uber. Why was Badger there? Yeah. Did, did, was his other friends there, or he, did he was just like fucking no, Badger, up? Heavenly was supposed to. Uh, come out but heavenly didn't end up making it he had uh prior engagements but uh badger is i it, is is it public that he, uh, he's part owner of g subs i don't know if that's public hopefully that's public but he's a uh, part owner of g subs so oh i didn't and, know that so yeah he came out to uh <clears throat> i was curious because like us. he doesn't really like he's never really like interacted with us at all no he he's for well the last clip he told me he saw of me is my microphone being boosted to shit and i was like uh -huh. man what a great impression that probably left 
But uh, I no, used to try was, to get his. Uh, I used really to try fun to like, hang out with. I used to try to get his attention back in the siege days because he was kind of really the only, se- like, big siege creator that never really like <clears throat> came around us at all. I don't yeah, know, maybe if I he did. ever played with Smitty or... Uh, Smitty was never really a seed YouTuber. Not really. Um, they obviously have interacted and they talk a decent amount from what I know, but I don't, I don't yeah. think they've really recorded together much. Um, but uh, I finally got to say whatever YouTuber has been thinking to Russian Badger. I've had this... Uh, I've been I, I've been letting this boil over for the last three years. I said, fuck you for how good you make your ads because I'm tired of getting oh, he, emails yes. from advertisers that show Russian yes. Badger <laughs> as the ad and say, hey, can you make this? That no. guy has a fucking <laughs> mocap suit to do his ads. Yeah. I'm not getting a mocap suit for Raid Shadow Legends. This is not <laughs> happening. <laughs> yeah, his ads are fucking crazy. It's like you're not it's even like watching bro- an ad. I and know. He- it's. I, I brought that up to him and I was like, man, I got to say, I love your content, but fuck you. And I like <laughs> explained, he's like, what the hell? I was like, yeah, he had no idea apparently that his ads get like emailed to other creators as like a oh, golden yeah. standard to do this. Yeah. yeah, he had no idea. Yeah, they'd be like a, so, like yeah, a brand coming like, giving shocked. you like, hey, Mr. Beast did this. Can you replicate Mr. Beast? Oh, I had that happen very recently too. No way, really? I literally, yeah. Perhaps yeah, it, it, it's know. just like, you think I'm making, yeah, literally that? use Mr. Beast pseudo ad. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh Here, here's an example we want you to follow. And it's Mr. Beast like, He's whoever wins. He's Joe Biden. Who, who, yeah, it's like whoever wins in this Uno match gets a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, me and Dew were making <laughs> jokes about the K-pop card pack I had, calling him junk poop and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> curse bullshit. Just like Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Lark's god. Got, Lark's like, I got all yellow cards in my hand. <laughs> I had what no yellows. We, dude, it was we were making the... a lot of like uh, when we were in that in in the car with Badger. I feel like he was scared a little bit because we kept making like drunk driving jokes oh, yeah. and like yeah no we were absolutely <laughs> like, we're gonna yank up. the steering wheel and kill everyone and Badger's <laughs> in the front seat like looking back like well, was, who the yeah, fuck are these dude, guys? He had such a funny ass <laughs> one liner too. I was like when you I'm pretty sure it was you saying that you're like I'm gonna grab the wheel and put us in a ditch or some shit like that. <laughs> and I was like I was in the back I was like man imagine that headline Badger's like five YouTubers dealt with. Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, <what> if, <laughs> I thought I was gonna say like five YouTubers was found dead or some shit to say dealt with dealt with <laughs> <laughs> the lord finally took him out <laughs> badger told me he was like you look familiar but i feel like whenever i see your face it's usually covered in shit or something I was like, oh because be your dip. profile picture the, yeah. the dip in my mouth yeah dip <laughs> yeah but yeah he was uh he was very contest, fun to hang out with mean. <laughs> like if you didn't know what he was talking i knew about. what he meant I, I, see, yeah i, I, I knew exactly before, usually covered in fucking stupid shit fuck you <laughs> <laughs> or he, or he, he might have said mud, like yummy and soup. <laughs> or he might have said mud or something. Or maybe he said dip. I don't really remember. I was drunk. I was yeah, drunk a lot that was a common the theme for the whole entire trip. It was so yeah, much fun. Badger was uh, Badger was a really nice guy. He was uh, he's fucking hilarious and very. He gave fun me a hug, out. dude. He I also, had dinner uh, with the Wolf of Wall Street, and Badger hugged me and told me he, he loved seems me. very. Badger's like, also uh, a very smart man. He a seems lot very, of like, uh, interesting energy. conversation. He is, but he's also like. He's like a cool dad that'll spike a football at your face, uh, you know? He's nope. not just like a regular dad. Yeah. He'll he's like an abusive make dad. you he'll make you a burger but then, you know, call you a dumb fucking idiot. It's like he's just he had the he had abusive the good in between dad, there. Yeah, yeah I, I no, I, I liked him. He was awesome. He also had a ton spaghetti, of like, really interesting... punch you in the fucking throat. <laughs> yeah, you go to bed. Much. <laughs> he has a bunch of interesting insight on YouTube and stuff and hearing about his whole process was uh was actually pretty interesting too, so yeah, he's yeah, uh, he's stayed really nice very guy. relevant for a long time. He definitely knows what yeah, the fuck he, he's done. Yeah, he he has yeah. done a very good job. Of I mean, his content in general is just super, super unique. So high quality. Yeah, yep. very high quality. Yeah, so fuck him for that because I'm tired of getting <laughs> Russian fuck you, buddy. in my ads. Yeah, yeah, he's like the only YouTuber that I know of that can make a funny moments video, but also have it just be like, like you're just watching a mini movie or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish he. Uh, I wish he would have came out drinking with us. He, uh, I think his flight was like 6 a.m. or something stupid. Uh, so he, he had to he had to leave pretty early. Yeah, so he didn't come out drinking with us. But uh, oh, what else happened that night? I feel like the Wolf of Wall Street is kind of the highlight of that night. Well, then we like saw the that, police. We, we were we. That's yeah. We, that's yeah. That yeah, 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 was rainy. We, we, we I think we rainy walked to after. rainy, and we yeah, were we like did. still sad that the placeholder tiki bar where you can get zombies <laughs> is closed. 
Because that was like the whole meme. It was like, dude, it's, you know, oh, yeah. it's finally zombie, zombie. Time. We it's were literally singing, time. singing the zombie song like a week in advance. Zombie. Yeah, yeah, we were singing right. that day. <laughs> and then uh, we walked back by it again. And we were like all sad or whatever. And I kept making like jokes like, oh, maybe it was a uh, group psychosis or some shit. It was never real. Like yeah. we, <laughs> it never existed. It was only existed to us or something. And then as we were, we kept walking, a fucking <clears throat> cop car like pulled over on the side of the street and two cops like started walking in <laughs> guns the bar drawn by with the way guns and like guns flashlights drawn and, and flashlights and one of them fucking they like they hopped over like the little chain fence thing and we're like pointing the gun at the building and shit we're just like, dude it has definitely been like a homeless guy spawner the last like two months <laughs> since it's been closed they're, they're definitely just a big old homeless fuck shack in there yeah dirty mike and the boys yeah <laughs> in there <laughs> i have no idea we didn't stick around because they had guns out so there. you know, clearly, did it was they have something. guns? I thought it was yes, just like flashlights. No, he the one the so I don't know. I I only saw the one cop. I the other one went around the building. I watched the one that jumped over like the chain fence thing, and he had his hand on his gun while he was doing that with the flashlight forward. And then when he went up to the door, he kind of like pulled it out and was like peeking it around and shit. And like all there was I know one is guy I saw the street, cops like, and I was like, like I'm this, walking, like, pointing at it. Yeah, yeah it I was, was like yeah, I, I was, saw the two cops go in there. I was like I know what's about to happen. I'm walking away now. They're about to open it up so we can go get some drinks. They're just clearing it out for us. <laughs> Come on in, boys. <laughs> <laughs> they heard we missed uh, missed the zombies. They're gonna yeah, maybe that, that's zombies. what they were going in for. They were going in for the remaining yeah, they just, zombies. They just there. wanted zombies. <laughs> they just wanted a couple of drinks. Those boys. Yeah, it's so uh, sad. Never able to try hope, one of those. Yeah, no. I just I really hope that Rainy Street in in Texas Dude, in, in Austin Rainy doesn't Street. turn into uh, skyscraper hell because that, that Rainy Street was dead. It seems like. That is going to turn into nothing but skyscrapers, and that makes me sad. Yeah. I mean, Rainy Street specifically is, yeah, like straight up dying. That place is so cool. I mean, I'm glad I got to experience it when it was. Yeah, it's better that we got to life. Not at all. Instead of. We didn't get any halal fries this time. That was gone. There was no halal fries. It was like Toke Bus or something else was in its spot. They sold like (laughs) weed and Zin packages or some shit. I thought that was on 6th Street. There was that, the, that was a little one on six. There's there's a big bus one because there you were like you were like oh there's the halal fry place that's where we ate last time. Then I got closer and it was just this like weed store or something. What is halal fries? Beats a dick off <laughs> me, buddy. Exactly what it sounds like. like. They're like blessed fries. Like two beef on it or something. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Pizza dick <laughs> off me. Super they halal great, brothers. Though. Yeah. yeah, wasn't that yeah, the name was of it? Like yeah. super super halal, halal brothers. brothers. <laughs> yeah, that shit banged though. They were good. And then uh, we went to this bar. After it was like this gaming bar, we played uh, played fucking NBA Jam, and there was this football game. Um, and then uh, we were there. There was a DJ. He was playing. He was actually playing pretty pretty good music. It wasn't just like shitty club music that's just loud trap beats that are annoying as fuck. Uh, he was actually playing like a bunch of old Simple Plan and like fucking played some uh, rock. It's like good rock Charlotte, stuff. like <laughs> random old yeah, bunch of stuff. But Droid went up to him and was like, can you play Jellyfish Jam? And he's like, no, no way. So the DJ, whatever. So he played for like another hour. And Droid went up to the the bartender and was like, can you make sure we hear Jellyfish Jam before we leave? And the bartender's like, I got you. And he put on the whole SpongeBob album. <laughs> we were. <laughs> it was like SpongeBob's greatest hits. It just kept playing. Dude, it was like. <laughs> it, was, it was so fucking funny. I have a video. I could put all these in the the, the podcast thing so our, our editor can throw them up. But there's Lee, the bartender, got a huge pile of napkins and a strobe light. And he, like, jumped on this, like, ice machine. Like, the, not the actual ice machine, but, you know, the ice, like, where you bowl. A chest? Like uh, no, the, the ice. ice uh, no, they're called fucking ice. Uh, oh, my God. Like ski ball. Hockey ring? Oh. Ski ball. And it's like the, the oh, brain is oh, ice. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, like yeah. a million of them. But oh yeah, they they had it there, and he was standing on it, and he had a bunch of napkins, and he was going like this, throwing the napkins down on all of us, fucking singing SpongeBob songs with his strobe light. <laughs> Everyone was oh like God. freaking out while Jellyfish Jam was on. It was, there was like <laughs> ten other people in the bar just standing there, fucking staring at us, all freaking out over SpongeBob. I you they guys played were like the like autistic as shit. Dude, they played like four <laughs> SpongeBob songs in a row that were just bangers. So everyone was. Uh, Hell yeah. Yeah, drunk as fuck, jamming out to SpongeBob, which was, uh, it was fun. fire that burns down the whole town. They did play that one too. What was that bar called? Kung Kung Fu something? It's on Sixth Street West, I think. I don't, I, dude. 
I don't know. Based uh, DJ, based bartender. No, the DJ I tried to get him bitch. to play. I tried to get him to play Yoho, and they just would not do it. I asked Dude, so many I was, times. I was so happy. Oh to get shit! I tried. I tried. Kung Fu, Kung Fu Saloon. If you ever want to go to a fun ass fucking bar on uh, on Sixth Street, I played Donkey Kong and Kung Mario Fu Bros. Saloon. Yep. Kung Fu Saloon bangs. It's on uh, Sixth Street. And we West. actually, I think it, we got there at a good time, right? Because wasn't that day that we happened to be there? It was like free arcade day. You didn't have to pay to play the games or something. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I paid. I paid every time we we played, but I don't know. Really? I might have just been you stupid and paying for scam, no reason. Dude. Yeah, I might have just been paying for no. Whatever. I don't really care. That bar was sick. I'm happy to. It was happy to pay extra. Yeah, Kung Fu Saloon. Go to it if you're on Sixth Street. It's fun as hell. But uh, yeah, I think that was it. I think that was. Uh, that was that was the whole trip. That was a damn just, good time. Just way too it's much always, drinking. It's always too short of a trip. I know. The you problem is, though, so I'm I'm always dead by the end of it. I'm so like, dude, I got on the airplane and I passed out. That's why we you didn't go even for leave our longer and you have a day of rest, my friend. Yeah, yeah we work. needed one. I needed a rest day in between there. That was uh, that was brutal. <laughs> I'm not built like I used to be. Not a twenty. Old. Yeah, especially yeah, since not, not, not stay for an extra day because it's not like you have to like come home and like go back to your jobs. Well, like, you I just fucking Smitty, stay another day. Like have at your that point, me and Smitty weren't sh weren't sure if we were going to the NHL All Star Game, which is like this weekend. So I needed to get uh, back and work for a little bit. And it turns out we are going to the All Star Game, so I'm leaving tomorrow morning again. And like I, I needed a few true. days home, and Smitty did as well, and that's you know that's half of the people that were there, and especially because we were there to celebrate Smitty's flavor. Smitty left, and everyone else stayed for like four days. It just it seems kind of weird, right? <laughs> that is true, yeah. So, yeah, it was but a damn uh, good time. Speaking of <clears throat> Smitty's flavor, go buy it. It's fantastic. It's it's uh, slush puppy cherry flavor. Use yeah, code goons, you yeah. can get Use twenty two percent off. Yeah, right? it's for a week. I think I I, I think it started at the time of recording this. But, uh, yeah, 22% off. If not, you get your normal 10% off, and you get to support us. So that's pretty fucking cool. Either way, code goons. Let me go check Either way, make use sure code goons. The, I think the, the dates are. Yeah, give the, I'm put, pretty the sure dates. it is this week that you can get. Eric told me, but I was fucking hammered. So It ends on the 9th. All right. So, so it's already started? Yep. So before the 9th. Yeah. It starts on the 2nd, ends on the 9th. Isn't this podcast going up on like? Oh, it'll be the fifth. All right, yeah. You'll have a couple ahead. days. You got yeah, it. Yeah, you'll have a few days. Twenty-two percent off, and uh, you get to support us. So use code Goons. We appreciate yeah. it. And we get more stories like this. G subs will fly us out to more things. So the more mm -hmm. you use our code, the more wild shit they're going to do for us. So it'll come back as podcast stories. So definitely go do it. It's an investment. It's it an is. investment for you. Think about it that it's way. Throw the G subs for... tub in the garbage. It doesn't matter. Just pork goons. <laughs> <laughs> It's an investment for us to have dinner with the fucking Wolf of Wall Wolf Street. Wolf of Wall Street for some reason. <laughs> Your money's going to a good place, people. <laughs> that, that's insane. Yeah, I, next uh, time it'll be like I the hope... BTK killer or something. You guys have dinner with him. That'll be fun. We'll have dinner with OJ Simpson next. <laughs> <laughs> Why just a guy who, you know who made money Mike on Tyson. Wall Street and then murderers? <laughs> yeah, Mike Tyson would be cool. Yeah. All right, oh, pitch, it to, pitch it to G-Sups. We'll see right. what we can do. Yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support. Go download on Spotify. We love yep. you. We love you. We do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, thanks for listening. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>